make sure you go over to my Instagram and give us a follow. I'm always doing giveaways for graffiti supplies, stickers, you name it. At UFO sign here. Of course, we're going to be talking about 10 different types of graffiti. And better yet, I'm sure most of you already know half of these, but we'll get into it anyway. Number one, tags or tagging. Tagging is the easiest, simplest, and most recognized style of graffiti. A tag is essentially the artist's signature. A tag is usually created with spray paint cans, but can also be produced with a marker. Generally, these tags only include one color and most of the time they are just the tagger's name. Famous taggers include the legendary cornbread who broke into the Philadelphia Zoo in the 1960s and spray painted cornbread lives onto the side of an elephant. Number two, throw ups. A throw up is another form of tagging. It is usually a more significant size that is more sophisticated and may use more paints and colors. The throw ups are often written in bubble style writing using spray cans. Many famous artists all over the world that specialize in this form of graffiti. Number three, blockbuster. A blockbuster goes up more than one level of sophistication from a thrower. It is much bigger and often fills up an entire space, such as a wall. However, like a tag in the throw up, a blockbuster is still produced in a relatively short amount of time. The lettering of a blockbuster is often created in a block style and the writer may use rollers. There's many examples of famous graffiti artists who create blockbuster styles. Number four, wild style. Wild style graffiti is also tech based but it uses elaborate font styles that can be difficult to read. The legibility doesn't make wild style graffiti unappealing. It is generally perceived as one of the most visually attractive tagging styles. Complicated and interlock letters, spikes, arrows, and other decorative elements are incorporated into this complex artwork. Multiple colors are used to create wild style graffiti, and the artist may also paint a background. Number five, stencil. Stencil graffiti has become incredibly popular. The artist known as Banksy has utilized the stencil style and brought it into the mainstream media. Stencils are shapes made out of cardboard, paper, metal, plastic, or other materials. An artist will then spray against the stencil to create an image or text. They can take the stencil and reproduce the picture again and again. Some stencils get rolled onto walls and other surfaces. Some of the most recognizable graffiti names that are stencil artists are such as Banksy, Shepherd Fairy, and many, many more. Number six, Poster or paste up. Posters or paste ups are a quick and easy way to put up pieces. These artists will create their artwork at home and then paste it up on walls and other public places. Like stencil graffiti, you can replicate and mass produce posters or paste ups. Unlike commercial posters, this artwork gets put up without permission, which classifies as graffiti. Number seven, sticker or slap. Stickers are similar to posters in that they can be mass produced and not created in the field as per graffiti. However, stickers are smaller than posters and do not require paste. Some stickers are simply tags drawn onto sticky labels while others are more sophisticated stickers that are created using computer graphics and other more elaborate well-known sticker artists use many other methods to do so. And number eight, piece. A piece is a graffiti picture that has been painted freehand. The name, as you may guess it, is short for masterpiece. These artworks contain at least three colors and usually take longer paint than a tag. A piece will often reach a level of public acceptability that most graffiti writers do not achieve. A piece created in an obvious place will gain respect from both the public and other artists. It may be perceived as street art, assumed to have been painted with permission and legally. However, it is still illegal and gained respect from graffiti artists because standing in public places painting walls without permission takes a significant risk. And number nine, 3D graffiti. 3D graffiti creates an elaborate illusion and is also well perceived by the public. 3D graffiti pieces are usually visual scenes that create the illusion of a third dimension. 3D graffiti may cover multiple walls or spread out onto pavements and roads. A very creative way of doing street art. But you have to remember that there's other types of graffiti and there's several other subcategories for the specific use cases of certain styles within the main 10 types of graffiti I just told you guys about. Other types of graffiti include gang graffiti which may take the form of tags or symbols. Tag graffiti can mark out boundaries and turf or they memorialize lost crew members or it could be signs of recruitment. 
There's also a type of graffiti called scratch graffiti or scraffiti. It's a growing trend in both graffiti and street art. It's a type of graffiti that is scratched into a surface. This is similar to the ancient forms of graffiti which were carved or incised into cave walls. I guess you could say the most common type of graffiti is tags. They're the most common type of graffiti you will come across. Tagging or leaving a visual signature is the oldest type of graffiti and it will be around forever. The earliest forms of tagging were seen in ancient times. The Roman Greeks started writing their names and protest poems on buildings. Carving your name into a tree or a rock is also a form of tagging. But the tags and tag of graffiti we recognize these days were first become common in the 1960s in Philadelphia and New York. By the 1970s, the trend took off and people began writing their names or tags on buildings and subways worldwide. Over time, graffiti styles have evolved from tagging to become more elaborate or cross into the realms of street art. However, tags are still the most recognized and original form of graffiti. So to conclude this video, not everyone likes or appreciates graffiti, but that's not the purpose of the style of artwork. Graffiti is a statement created for self-expression Graffiti artists do not seek fame from the public or mainstream appreciation. Graffiti is typically only created to speak to other artists in the community. Graffiti writers typically do not seek or want public understanding of their work. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and have a good one. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram.